Our population needs to be educated on the issue of climate change. In order to conserve energy, in order to look for the future, you need awareness, public awareness. You have to communicate the information so people can take personal action in their choices. Human beings seem to have always thought that there's nothing that they could do that will affect the planet as a whole. The effects are only local. Now, they have, for the first time, an overwhelming set of evidence that indicates that human activity has impacted on the planet as a whole. The planet warms and cools on a predictable cycle. Now, the trouble is that human beings have added on something onto the natural process. It is actually the burning of fossil fuels that added on an additional element of carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere, something that was not natural or normal. Essentially, the carbon dioxide, um, as it builds up in the atmosphere, acts rather like the roof of a greenhouse, like glass. Infrared radiation coming in from space passes through the roof, as it were, the transparent roof, which would be the, the carbon dioxide and, and other gases. It warms up the Earth and then it radiates back out into space. What the carbon dioxide is doing, however, is it's acting like a piece of glass and reflecting some of that radiation back to Earth. Radiation that would have gone back out to space. So since it's reflecting some of the heat back to Earth, the Earth is, is gradually heating up due to this enhanced greenhouse effect. Each of us in our activities contributes to the problem by the amount of the greenhouse gases that we emit. What we would refer generally as the carbon footprint. We said the major greenhouse gas is carbon dioxide, but there are other powerful greenhouse gases like methane, another carbon compound, and some non-carbon compounds like nitrous oxide. So we convert nitrous oxide into the carbon dioxide equivalents. Uh, we do the accounting in carbon. So for every activity, it is possible to, in fact, do an inventory of the, the carbon cost, in, the carbon emissions cost. How much carbon has it emitted into the atmosphere that added to the problem? So if you drove here in a car, coming out of the tailpipe will be the, the products of the burning of the fossil fuel. If you had walked, or if, or if you had ridden a bike, your footprint would have been reduced. If you you know, purchased something to eat and what you purchased had to be transported here from abroad, then you would have to add how much carbon dioxide was emitted by the plane or the ship that brought that material here, as opposed to your choice of buying something that has only local content and which the distance that it traveled would be less. The Earth produces ecosystem services on which we depend, most of which we don't realize. It purifies water, it produces oxygen, it, it processes our carbon dioxide. The waste that we produce are all degraded by bacteria. Things are recycled and so forth. So if we destroy its capacity to do that, and that's what we are doing with, with global warming, we are threatening the Earth's capacity to regenerate itself sustainably and also threatening the future of humans themselves. So it's in our interest to make sure that the Earth continues to maintain that ability to sustain itself, to regenerate and to also sustain us. The key is awareness. Do we have a responsibility to educate our populations on the whole issue of global warming and climate change and what measures we can put in place to reduce our carbon footprint? So it's very important to have this educational and public awareness